Okay, we've got to talk about the stunning new video released by Jeremy Corbell as part of the TMZ docuseries. So let's talk about the great squid UFO video. Get in here. This is Jack with Cosmic Road. I talk about UFOs and the paranormal. Please hit like and subscribe and let me know what you think in the comments below. Okay, let's just get right into it. Here is the video released by Jeremy Corbell. Check it out. Crazy squid video. Uh, of course, they call it the squid video because it's got tentacles. It looks kind of like a squid. And it's even kind of, uh, you know, got camouflage or something like a squid might have. Check that out. That's wild. Yeah, and notice there how it's moving. Uh, you know, it's not stuck on the lens. It's moving in a way the, the, the camera isn't. Some are saying that it's, uh, you know, a smudge on the lens. Uh, it doesn't appear to be a smudge on the lens to me. But let me know what you think. All right, let's get into more details about it. Uh, new UFO footage shows jellyfish craft not visible to the naked eye hovering over town in video buried by intelligence community. Leaked U.S. Uh, military footage of a mysterious flying object was unveiled by expert Jeremy Corbell. Two different angles of the aircraft show the mysterious entity as it flies over the land and water of a U.S. military base in Iraq. The UFO can only be seen on thermal camera and the object switches between black and white, indicating a change in temperature from hot to cold. Watch the background when that happens, uh, Mike. Colin Gillow says, Corbell revealed that troops in 2018 were instructed to hunt it down. The UFO was supposedly submerged in water for 17 minutes in the footage before it's launched out of the water at rapid speeds. Well, why can't we see that part of the footage? I want to see that, don't you? Launching out of the water at rapid speeds? Yeah. Uh, it goes over a body of water. I'm told it stops on a dime. Descends stiff into the water in for 17 minutes. Nothing. And boom! This thing comes out of the water and shoots off at 45 degrees, Corbell said, describing the object's behavior. Witnesses said that each of the hanging legs on the object were stiff and unmoving. And there is a Daily Mail article about it, and we can find out more about it there. Um, let's see if there's anything new. Yeah, Corbell revealed uh, troops were instructed to hunt it down. Uh, that's just wild. There's Jeremy. Uh, yeah, it was, yeah, it was submerged in water for 17 minutes. So why aren't we able to see that part of the footage? Why are they only releasing a little bit of it? I don't understand just, you know, teasing us with these, uh, short segments of a much longer video. I and mean, if there's things that need to be redacted from it, they can scrub that. Uh, you know, the, the things on the, you know, the uh, numbers and so on, on the, the side of the lens. Uh, but why are they not revealing the full video? It's so frustrating. Uh, Jeremy Corbell, an investigative journalist and filmmaker, said that the legitimacy of the footage was confirmed by sources who risk getting, getting it to him. The filmmaker is passionate about getting to the bottom of what UFO, UFOs mean to humanity. Corbell's bombshell revelations came as part of his expose, TMZ presents the UFO revolution. Yeah, and if you've seen the trailers for that, that looks amazing. That's going to be a gangbusters docuseries. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, in the documentary, Corbell spearheads the investigation, which claims to lift the lid on the biggest cover-up in the history of the world. The investigation comes after the New York Times exposed the Pentagon's ongoing UFO, UFO unit where officials continued to study the mysterious interactions between UFOs and military pilots in 2020. Uh, the, yeah, the UFO can only be seen on thermal camera, not night vision, and the object switches back and forth between black and white, indicating a, range of, a change in temperature from hot to cold. Why is it changing temperature? That would be an interesting thing to know. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, and it goes on talking about David Grush, uh, etc., I mean, that's about all that we know about this particular incident and this uh, crazy UFO. Of course, not all are buying it. You know, Mick West and others are saying it's a smudge on the lens. And, you know, the average Chris says, 
uh, you know, basically it's a smudge on the lens. He says, the problem with that is that people eventually catch on uh, talking about Jeremy's, uh, you know, videos and start explaining his videos away with prosaic explanations. The screenshot of the video in question clearly shows some sort of smudge or possibly even a bug that splattered on the housing apparatus of the camera attached to the drone. The object isn't changing color because it's changing temperature. It's changing color depending on the background. Uh, as you can clearly see, the more you watch the video. Uh, and it did not look like that to me. Um, Arthur Preston says, while at first glance, I can see why people may think it is some sort of smudge on the lens, but that is clearly and provably false. A smudge would track perfectly with the movement of the camera, which it does not. The average Chris uh, rejoins, uh, that's probably because probably the smudge isn't on the lens, but the actual camera housing dome. The camera could focus elsewhere and it still appear in frame. Also would explain why it couldn't lock on like Corbell states. Arthur Preston says, well, I don't know what camera system is being used, but typically the camera is fixed in the housing and the entire housing is on a gimbal and moves, but I am no expert. If the camera can move inside the housing, you could be right, uh, but that is a big F. Uh, all right, could, could this thing be a smudge on the lens? I don't know, I mean, that, that does not look like a smudge on the lens to me. It looks like a crazy anomalous craft. Um, yeah, could only be seen on thermal. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, you, you tell me if you think there's any way that could be a smudge on the lens. And that is clearly defined. You can see the, the legs and they're saying it's stiff. Yeah, I don't think that uh, people would have been ordered to hunt it down if it had been a smudge. But that's just me. And of course, that's not the first squid UFO video we've seen. We've seen several of these incidents in the last year, last few years, and even historically. Here's a post from the one. The original YT video for this includes an individual account of seeing one of these jellyfish octopus-like UFOs. Uh, the short clip from the video is interesting because... No other cloud formations are in sight, and multiple researchers, including John Keel and Charles Fort, have stated that UFOs would use clouds as camo in order to do earthly surveillance. Well, let's take a look at this crazy jellyfish UFO that the Juan is talking about. And let's see, that was shared by UFO Hunter. Yep, looks like a crazy jellyfish. Uh, similar, but not exactly like the one shown by Jeremy Corbell. Uh, that, that, that one is definitely way more jellyfish-ish. Uh, the, <laughs> the, the Jeremy Corbell video evokes the jellyfish without actually being a jellyfish. Uh, but that one is extremely jellyfish-like. I love it. Hey, I wrote a series of novels called The Atomic Sea. It's all about sea monsters. Oh, I love my, I love me some sea monsters. It's awesome. And flying floating squids in the air. I've got that too. Bad ass. Here's another one shared by the one. And that is extremely jellyfish-like again. I mean, that's almost too jellyfish-like. It looks too good to be true, doesn't it? Uh, and maybe it is. Maybe it is. But that is a beautiful flying jellyfish. Mike Colangelo isn't a huge fan of this video, though. He says, it uh, looks like it could be a partially deflated balloon animal. I also don't think it's turning from hot to cold or vice versa. Check out the background when it goes from dark to bright or bright to dark. The background is also changing. I don't know. I mean, maybe he's right. Oh, uh, what do you guys think? Here we see it again. Is, is the background changing uh, as it's changing? Uh, not, not, maybe, not really. I'm, I'm not quite seeing what he's saying, but if you're seeing it, let me know. Okay, let's, let's see if we can tell anything. Does, does the background get a little more detailed when it uh, comes into clarity? 
uh, when, when it's when it's not invisible. Maybe, maybe I'm not sure. Uh, but that's that's about all I can see is is maybe. Okay, but yeah, it's, the background's light now. Uh, when the background is when it, when it, when it's cloaked, is the background lighter? Okay, now let's wait. Wait for the. I think the background may have gotten darker. I mean, he might be right. He might have a point. I don't know, guys. Let me know what you think. Uh, is it a smudge on the lens? Is it a deflated uh, party balloon animal? Uh, is it a UFO? Um, my mind is open on this. I think that Jeremy Corbell has probably uh, investigated this thoroughly before releasing it. I love Jeremy. Not everybody is a huge fan of Jeremy, but I love the guy. I think he's doing great stuff and is releasing amazing UFOs, uh, videos that he's gotten from, you know, anonymous, you know, confidential sources, probably Chris Mellon or Dave Grush or somebody like that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so I, I think these are probably solid and he wouldn't be releasing them if they weren't. Uh, but, you know, uh, that's just me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. I sure would appreciate it. Smash the subscribe button and the bell to be notified of future videos. You don't want to miss a thing. Join me on social media, Facebook and Twitter links below. Love to see you guys there. If you wanted to support Cosmic Road in an even bigger way, please consider grabbing a coffee mug or a t-shirt in their merch store or by becoming a channel member. Channel members are rock stars and I really appreciate you guys' support. Thanks. Uh, channel members also frequently get to see videos hours ahead of everybody else. Uh, meanwhile, there are plenty of other videos on the channel. But I'll see you guys next time. This is Jack with Cosmic Road, signing out.